Hello, today is Saturday, the 18th of April, 2020. This is my little COVID-19 journal of the day. Um, so the numbers from The Guardian show that uh, I'm recording this at about 8 o'clock at night. Uh, there are now 726,000 cases, 726,000 cases in America. The deaths are now just about 38,000. Um, New York is reporting in at 239,000 cases. My home state of North Carolina is at 6,320. Um, the other map that I've been looking at just the last couple of days is the, the curve, as it were, and that shows the number of cases that reported every day. Um, and um, so there's a, you have kind of like the kind of the rolling average. That number continues to kind of go down, although there has been an increase over the last one, two, three, four, five days. So it really went down for, it went down like a whole bunch for like four days. It went back up five days, but the overall trend is still down. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, some other things that, are, that have been in the news is people are getting itchy um, to get back to normal. Um, there was news about how in California there was this huge protest to kind of reopen California. Um, probably one of the most infamous pictures that kind of circulated around social media was um, someone holding a big sign saying COVID-19 is a lie. There's a big conspiracy theory that's saying that this is all just a way of controlling the, you know, this all this is just, you know, lies and stuff like that. However, the person holding the sign that's saying COVID-19 is a lie was also wearing gloves and a mask, like medical mask and gloves. Um, there has been a stay-at-home order where they said, look, no one more than 10 people should be gathered in any given place. And uh, in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, there was uh, suppose there was like some group that was protesting an abortion clinic. Um, and there was like 50 people there. Well, they got arrested because they violated the more than 10 people rule, which is something that can be done under the current rules that are set out. Now those people who are arrested are suing the state because they're saying that their right to free assembly and right to protest has been violated. Idiots. Idiots. Okay. I mean, there's a time and a place to do protesting. I understand that as a right, but not when we're under a pandemic the very fact that they are protesting an abortion clinic leads you to believe they are pro-life is the way the term would be. So they are for people being safe and healthy and stuff like that. So don't put yourself at risk by... Anyway, okay. Um, so it was, it was a rainy Saturday, so we got the yard work done yesterday. I just had a little bit of grading to do. Today's been a, kind of a chill day, which has been nice. That's even when I had like my little mini vacation during the Easter break, we did a lot of stuff around the house. Today I decided to, I'm, you know, I just need to kind of unplug from the world and kind of refresh my brain. And that's been very helpful. Um, so anyway, that's basically what's going on. So it sounds like, you know, people are looking ahead and saying, Hey, things are kind of slowing down. Although the data is trending up for the last five days. We'll kind of keep an eye on that. We'll see what happens, but no major changes as far as people that I know of or anything like that. And uh, anyway, we'll go from there. All right, and that's it for today.